One of the worst problems a toilet can have is water leaking at its base, draining all over the bathroom floor. When this happens, major damage can occur to the home structure if the problem is not corrected immediately. Within a few days, the water gathering at the toilet's base can penetrate the subflooring, walls, and cabinets. This can promote the growth of mold and mildew in this area, which can be very costly to repair. Water leaking at the toilet's base is usually caused by one of a few factors. The toilet base could be cracked, the toilet is not properly mounted to the toilet flange, the toilet flange is not properly mounted to the subfloor or concrete slab. In an extreme circumstance, there could be hot water cycling through the toilet, melting the toilet's wax ring. Or even less likely, the toilet could have a manufacturing defect. Regardless of what the cause of the problem is, once leaking is noticed, turn off the water at the water supply valve connection. Keep in mind that the water in the toilet's bowl and tank might need to be removed by other means than flushing the toilet, given that flushing the toilet might cause more water to leak onto the bathroom floor. In order to properly evaluate the cause of the water leak, the entire toilet should be inspected for physical damage. If the cause of the toilet's leak is a crack on the toilet itself, the toilet will need to be removed and replaced with a new model. Regardless of the inspection's outcome, the toilet should be unmounted and the flange and sewer inlet examined also. Before removing the toilet, take note whether the toilet rocks back and forth. If it does, then the leak can probably be attributed to the toilet not being mounted tightly enough to the flange, or the flange not being mounted tightly enough to the subflooring or cement slab. Once the toilet is removed, check the condition of the subflooring. Look for any mold, water damage, or rust on the flange. If the toilet is on a concrete slab, then generally the water damage is minimal. In both cases, water can soak into any sheetrock walls or cabinets, so be inquisitive. One common cause of leakage can be attributed to the fact that the toilet was not mounted to the flange tightly enough. If the toilet rocks back and forth, and the flange is securely mounted to the subflooring or cement slab, then the cause of the leak is the inadequate mounting of the toilet to the flange. Replace the wax ring and toilet mounting bolts, then remount the toilet, ensuring that the toilet is secured properly to the flange. If the toilet flange appears to be in bad condition, then this is likely the cause of the leak. If the toilet was mounted over subflooring, then most likely the subflooring has also been damaged. This will require the damaged subflooring to be replaced before the toilet can be remounted. In the case of concrete flooring, generally the only things that need to be replaced are the toilet flange and the wax ring. On occasion, hot water is accidentally connected to the toilet's water supply line. Because the toilet is cycling hot water every day, the toilet's wax ring will melt. Once the wax ring is melted, the watertight seal between the toilet base and sewer inlet is gone, causing water to leak onto the bathroom floor. If this happens, the wax ring will need to be replaced and cold water properly routed into the toilet's water supply system. Finally, in a very rare occurrence, a toilet base can be manufactured unlevel and will not sit evenly on the floor. This toilet is an example of that. Given that the toilet never did sit flat on the floor, the wax ring slowly failed to seal the toilet base to the sewer inlet. This caused flooding in the bathroom. In this case, the toilet needs to be replaced with a new model.